Uh, an interesting discussion right there indeed uh, with a bit of nostalgia because back in the day that program really made a difference and today uh, lots of young Kenyans out there are eagerly awaiting their school milk of course to bridge uh, their deficit in terms of nutrition. Now moving on, well I bet you never ever thought that we'd be training people on how to consume eat and maybe raise fish, while the consumption of fish remains an anathema for many people in central Kenya. Would sensitization of the community on fish consumption and its benefits be a key point of focus? As, it, uh, as a result, the Kembu County government is setting up training centers in every sub-county in order to train and interest the youth in fish farming technology. Meanwhile, the country is set to host the first ever East Africa Aquaculture Symposium. Ashley Mazuri has more on this story. Not long ago, fish farming was considered as a traditional practice that was the preserve of communities living near the country's lake and coastal strip. But as time went by, the change in lifestyle saw communities embracing the delicacy, which increased the demand and production of fish. In Kiambu County, fish farming was embraced after the government introduced fish farming under the economic stimulus plan, with farmers getting profit from the small-scale business. Yeah. Jen Waryunge is one of the fish farmers who has excelled in Kiambu and is making millions of money in greenhouse fish farming in a small plot. She does fish fertilization and sells fingerings locally and is looking forward to finding an export market as the fish farming business flourishes. We want our youth to come back to the shamba. We want our youth so that they can have small, uh, small scales business so that they can grow. According to the Minister for Agriculture, Kiambu County Government, Monica Waiganjo, fish farming does the best in a densely populated area like Kiambu, where there is scarcity of land. She says fish farming can be undertaken on a quarter of an acre of land or even in your rented house, as all you need is a small tank. Small tanks can hold over 1,000 fish. The minister further urged the youths to embrace the evolution of the practice to embrace the new technology and do fish farming in greenhouses as a way to curb unemployment and the dependence of white-collar jobs despite devolution. We are seeing an increase in the people that are engaging in aquaculture. Going forward, Kiambu County plans on setting aside 10 million shillings every year in restocking fish ponds initiated by the national government during the economic stimulus programs. The news comes ahead of a three-day fish farming symposium to be held at the Jomo Kenyatta Institute of Agriculture and Technology this week. Ashley Mazuri, KTN News. Well, from Campbell County to Trukana County, which has in the 